Hey, hey and uh, welcome to some more Timberborn. We are starting up another settlement. We are playing on the Helix Mountain map with this uh, yeah big twirly thing in the middle. And we are playing with the folk tales this time. And uh, yeah, since it <laughs> went so good the last time, we are doing hard difficulty again. So yeah, I guess we'll see how that will turn out. But yeah, first of all, we do probably need to try and get our settlement up and running. And yeah, let's start with putting out some roads, why not? And we do need lumber, so I guess we'll start with that. I guess we should, could probably put some up there as well. So far so good. And of course we do need to mark them as well. I guess we will, yeah, let's take all of this, why not? There we go, and yeah. Let's not do that. Okay, so far so good. And of course, we will be needing some food. So that's probably what we should uh, think about next. So we will place down an efficient farmhouse. And I guess we should start with carrots. Maybe something like that. Is that seven by seven? Yeah, I think so. That's that's what we will start with. And I think we can let our beavers out now. There we go. And of course, we will be needing water. So I guess, uh, yeah, let's start with one po water pump. There we go. And when all that's taken care of, I guess we will have to Think, to think about damming off a section of the river here so we can, yeah, keep some water during the dry seasons. And don't think we can get a bad tide straight away, but uh, yeah, I'm not sure about that actually. But either way, damming off this river, it's quite wide actually, so. It's not the easiest river to dam off. Guess we could try something up here maybe. But yeah, I think we will go over here. Why not? Let's, uh, yeah, if we're about to do that, let's make some small changes to the road. There we go. And I guess we will, yeah try to make a dam over here yeah that's uh, a long dam don't think that will be done before the first drought but uh, <laughs> yeah maybe the second and I guess also let's uh, gather some berries so we have something to eat before Yeah, before we have uh, carrots. And of course, yeah, they should probably work a little bit more. That will help as well. And 
yeah. We should probably... Yeah. Free up some beavers as well. It's uh, fine that we actually need lumber, but if everyone are getting lumber, nothing will get built. So, yeah. So, we do have our farm up and running. And now that we have, yeah, planted everything, actually, let's uh, plant a little bit more, actually. Why not? Let's do... Yeah, let's do that. Why not? And once that's taken care of, I think we should uh, start with some research. We will be needing that. So let's put down... Yeah, four should be enough. Hopefully, maybe. And of course, yeah, we do need to prioritize this. Because, yeah, I guess water is uh, kind of important. And probably some storage as well. Actually, let's do that and prioritize that over the research stuff. So, let's do three of these small tanks and yeah let's do that as well and yeah now that we have planted everything I guess we can pause the farmhouse until stuff is ready to be harvested and we have actually started construction of the dam so yeah, I guess that's nice. So what should we think about next? Yeah, there we go. The drought are approaching in three days. So yeah, hopefully we should be able to grab some water and yeah, would probably have been a good idea to place the water pump on the <laughs> on the right side of the dam as well, but uh, yeah, I guess not. But yeah, eventually we will make something down here as well in order to yeah try to store as much as possible of the water up here and hopefully we will manage with uh, these small tanks until that and uh, yeah let's see I guess could pop in a couple more just to yeah try to be safe but then again yeah might not be able to complete those before the drought gets here but yeah I'm sure we will find out and also do we need some storage for our food can store some inside of the farmhouse but uh, yeah I guess some extra storage might not be a bad idea question is where should should we put it I guess uh, that's as a good place as any and of course we will have them store carrots there we go and looks like we are actually starting to gather some water so yeah that's good and also on this map there will actually take some time before we actually yeah get the drought down here at us because uh, yeah there's quite a bit the water have to travel before <laughs> we actually 
see the consequences of what season we are in. So that's yeah, I guess that's a good and bad thing with this map. But yeah. And as I mentioned, I don't think the dam will be done until <laughs> or before the first drought hits us. There we go, we have food, so let's fire up our efficient farmhouse again. There we go. And also, we do need to down prioritize the workplace of all the inventors. So there we go, and actually let's, uh, yeah, we will probably not make that, but uh, yeah, here we go, but yeah, let's, let's try, as you can see, we do have, yeah, not too much, but we do have some time before we will act actually notice the effect and I guess uh, there's no more trees down here so let's pause those and we will fire up these ones instead but yeah don't think we will be able to finish this dam in time but uh, we will try at least we are gathering food now so that's uh, at least something even though yeah don't have should probably prioritize the storage before the dam so yeah let's do that yeah there we go no water for us hopefully we will be <laughs> managing with the little water we managed to grab before the drought got here but now yeah you won't plant anything now so that's okay should probably have prioritized the harvesting before the water disappeared but uh, yeah too late now so hopefully our beavers will at least gather as much food as they can before yeah everything dries up and die and yeah we aren't actually gathering that much wood but hopefully there's enough wood here so we can complete the dam and get access to the other side on this side there should be a decent amount more lumber because yeah there are some oak trees over here so that will help us quite a lot actually. So yeah, I think we will make the dam and when that's done, we should probably think about having some housing constructed. The droughts are over, so eventually <laughs> we should get some more water. And uh, yeah, we are almost completing, or have completed the, almost completed the dam. So yeah, that's a nice thing as well. So, I was thinking we should probably see about some housing. But actually before that let's see if we can actually start uh, lumber production we do have uh, actually a decent amount of science so I guess we should probably start with a forester here we go we will yeah pop him down over there and of course in order to be able to build that building we do need a lumber mill and the question is where do we want to put that and uh, yeah I actually have no idea actually why not let's put it yeah we'll probably move these things around 
but for now that's where it will be or wait a second should we yes yeah, since we are putting it over here should we place it next to the river and try to connect a water wheel I guess uh, I guess we should probably do that. So let's see. I guess we could remove some of these berry bushes as well. I think we will do that. Actually, let's remove those. Yeah, why not? We will see if we can have them do that as fast as possible. At least that would be nice. I guess we could start on the water wheel. And I guess, uh, yeah, we will just put it down over there. Yeah, why not? And hopefully it should be able to produce some power for us. Looks like, yeah, guess not. Still waiting for the water. <laughs> oh, and yeah, hopefully it will come soon because uh, we do have some thirsty beavers. Oh, and I guess that's too far away from a road so yeah let's do that that should take care of it yeah there we go and also at some point we will probably need need another water pump so let's uh, get one more up and running almost completed the dam and I guess when that's done we do need uh, some lumberjacks over here as well there we go Hopefully we are able to gather some water for our beavers, even though it looks like it goes kind of slow, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think we should be okay. And I guess we don't have any lumber left, I guess we can grab some over there. Actually let's... Uh, yeah, there we go, a new drought. That's, uh, that's fast, <laughs> but okay. At least we should be able to complete, uh, I hope at least we should be able to complete the dam. Yeah, need three more logs, so that should be doable. Yeah, there we go. So at least we can breed a little. And of course, when we get uh, yeah some lumberjacks over here, that should help with the lumber as well. We do have uh, yeah four vacant workplaces, but that's okay because we have four of these inventors. So I guess that's okay for now. Hopefully, yeah, building this water wheel, I don't think that's uh, the best idea I have had because we will probably not have long periods of running water down here, but uh, yeah, it's almost completed, so I guess we are sticking with it. 
and yeah. Guess we'll have it as a test project to see if <laughs> if it's viable or, or not. But yeah, I guess it probably won't be, but yeah, I guess we'll find out. And yeah, let's pause some of the lumberjack flags. There we go. And then we have enough uh, lumber to construct this water wheel. We will start the construction of the lumber mill. And I guess we do probably need to build a power wheel as well. I guess. Uh, yeah, I guess we will see. Let's complete. There we go. That one first, and then we will start. Oh, here we go. The construction of the lumber mill. Guess we do need some road as well. And uh, yeah, why not? While we are at it, let's do that. Far so good. And hopefully we should have enough water as well to take us through the dry season that's coming up. But yeah, at least now we should be eventually available or able to build the forester hut as well. Let's see, why don't we have any food? That's uh, troubling, I have to say. Yeah, I guess that should take care of itself now. I hope. And we do have, yeah, a drought lasting six days. And yeah, hopefully we should have enough water for that. Our forester are completed. So I guess it's time to plant some trees. And yeah, what do we want to do? Should we go re straight for oak? Yeah. Why not? And I guess, uh, yeah, maybe. Actually, let's uh, do the entire area here. Why not? Eventually, we will be, hopefully, be able to plant this entire area. But uh, for now, we will have to settle with, uh, <laughs> yeah, this small piece. But yeah, I guess that's better than nothing, so that's how it will be. And we are, even though it's going quite slow, we are actually accumulating some food. So yeah, that's good. Looks like water shouldn't be a problem either. So maybe we should think about some housing and uh, yeah don't actually know where we should put this but uh, yeah they will probably be in the way no matter what <laughs> at some point but uh, yeah guess we will put them up here and let's yeah let's get rid of uh, yeah some new icons here can't we there we go that's the one I was looking for let's remove that and uh, 
let's see if we can place out some more houses. Yeah, we will do that for now. And yeah, let's remove that one as well. And I guess that will have to do for now. That will have to do for now. And I guess the next thing we want to unlock are probably the wooden stairs. So yeah, let's do that. And we will try and get uh, access to the lower part down here. I guess uh, maybe something like that. Yeah, why not? And eventually we want to make some kind of dam down here. Do we probably need to yeah unlock some of the floodgates so yeah i guess we will be collecting a bit more science points before we are able to do that our viewers are actually getting happier so yeah i guess that's a good thing so i was thinking that uh, maybe we should uh, think about growing potatoes because yeah because why not might be a little bit early since we don't really have our lumber production up and running but uh, yeah hopefully we will be okay guess we sh could start with yeah let's start with that why not and uh, yeah, I guess we do need to clear out this area first. So we will do that. Another thing I was thinking about, let's see if we can, there we go. We are getting water again, so that's nice. Let's see if we can plant some chestnuts. And yeah, not too many, but some over there maybe. That's nice. And yeah, let's uh, get the beaver back into the water pump. That's probably a good idea. And I think we can manage with only two beavers in the farmhouse. Maybe, I guess we'll find out. <laughs> and yeah, we should probably Get some more housing as well. Let's do that. At least one more house. Let's see. Oh, okay. So there was something else I was thinking on as well. But yeah, I can't actually remember what it was. But at least, yeah, let's start the planting of the potatoes. And I guess uh, if we are growing potatoes, we do need a grill as well. So I guess, uh, yeah, let's just pop that down there. Oh, and here, the water are coming. Yeah, I was thinking that we should probably try to think about what we should do when we get these bad tides. Would be nice if we could lead the water or the bad tide away from our settlement somehow. And I think that in order to do that we do need to build something over here. And maybe lead the water down here would be nice. Yeah, the, <laughs> the wet seasons aren't long in this game, apparently. But uh, yeah, I guess that's okay. So, yeah, let's plant some more potatoes. And uh, I think we will see about uh, damming off this area. 
so that we will be able to lead off the water over to this side when we will need to so yeah we should probably unlock this in order to do so but kind of want to build the double floodgates down here first so I think we will save up for those and in order to do so we should uh, yeah we should definitely try to get some more water while we can that's uh, yeah might be in problems problem already yeah hopefully we will manage to do that and let's see yeah we will pause you for now and yeah let's plant the rest of the potatoes as well now that's done and let's see I guess we are if we do have yeah more plank than planks than we can store so I guess for now we do need to pause this and uh, let's see hopefully we will manage to grab some water before it's uh, too late and also we do need more beavers doing research so don't actually have any extra beavers at the moment I guess we can do that and uh, for now I guess we can pause that as well that should give us a couple beavers doing research but yeah we do need quite a lot more actually in order to unlock the double floodgate and also should probably put down some kind of uh, storage for planks as well if we actually want to build those floodgates so yeah I guess we can do that let's uh, clear out some more of these berries I guess don't really need those so we will do that so we can, yeah, get a large pile and store some planks. There we go. At least that's taken care of. And uh, we do have, uh, we do have housing for 16 beavers. And for some reason we only have uh, 12 so I guess that's uh, hopefully on the rise so eventually we should get uh, more beavers as well and yeah at least it looks like we are able to get some water before the drought starts hopefully that will be enough and I guess we are about to see how long the period will last. Oh yeah, that's uh, that's probably bad. <laughs> but yeah, I guess we will see. We do have enough research now. So we can start... Uh, yeah, what should we call it? The next phase of the plan? <laughs> yeah. Or not. But yeah, we do have enough research now so we can unlock the let's see here the double floodgates and the levis 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 but the question is do we want to try and build a dam down here that will allow us to keep more fresh water during the dry seasons or should we build something up here that will allow us to divert the bad tide when we eventually get that so I was kind of thinking that we should start with the dam down here but might be a better idea to start up here 
because uh, yeah we will probably get uh, a bad tide really soon so yeah I think we will start with that so in order to do that we do need to unlock this and I guess uh, yeah let's do it just do it easy plain and simple and we'll do that and of course we do need to do something over on this side as well so I was thinking if we aim for yeah that space maybe and I think we need yeah I'm actually not sure but let's try with I guess we can unlock them as well let's go with three of the floodgates and of course we do need more of those as well there we go oh and actually we do need to yeah be able to unlock the double platform as well at some point so we can actually make a path path past the floodgates but yeah hopefully we should be able to do that before we actually manage to build all of these things there we are so yeah but then again I don't know if we will be able to do that before the first bad tide hits us and I guess uh, yeah we will give it a go but uh, yeah might not just happen and should probably look into some more storage for our water as well because uh, yeah we are I guess we are doing okay at least right now but uh, yeah we are not doing that great so I guess we will add three more over here there we go and yeah hopefully that should help out and let's see we do need in order to unlock the yeah not the triple ones but the double platforms we do need 150 more science so yeah hopefully we will get that at some point as well but yeah at least we have started construction on the dam that hopefully will save us from the <laughs> from the bad tide we are on our way out of the drought but uh, yeah I did kind of panicked and uh, placed down an emergency water pump <laughs> over here because uh, yeah we did run out of water and uh, yeah hopefully that will make it so we can yeah survive until the next season hits us but yeah as we can see over here constructing this dam will take some time so yeah if we are able to do that before the dark tide hits us or not I really don't know and uh, yeah we are out of time as well so I guess we will see about that in the next episode so yeah hopefully things will turn out in our favor but I guess we will just have to wait and see so yeah thank you so much for watching and as always, a big special thank you to all the people that like, subscribe and comment to my videos. I really do appreciate it, so thank you so much. I'm JT, take care and bye bye.